This film is about how to avoid cheating and plagiarism. The bulk of academic writing is about presenting arguments for the validity and relevance of one's own findings. It is vital to include earlier research results in the scientific area in the argumentation. This means that when you are writing your thesis, your scientific work will partly build on previous research. That is where you find support for your own findings as well as a sounding board for your further reasoning and argumentation. It is therefore of utmost importance that you refer to your sources in a correct way. If not, you risk being accused of plagiarism. So, what is plagiarism? Plagiarism is a form of cheating, which means that you present someone else's work as your own. It is considered to be plagiarism if you publish someone else's work in your own name or if you use parts of someone else's work without citing the source. You have to refer to the author and the source of information. A source can also be called a reference or a citation. It is considered plagiarism if you do not state the source when you copy someone else's text, everything from phrases to sentences to paragraphs, or when you copy images or tables, maps or other graphs without referring to the source. If you use someone else's data, methods or theories without referring to the source. It is also considered plagiarism if you rewrite someone else's text without referring to the source, or use your own previously published work without referring to it. In some cases, it is considered to be plagiarism even if you do refer to the source, so it is a complicated business. Here are some examples. It is considered plagiarism even if you state the source when you quote someone verbatim, that is word for word, without marking it as the quotation. When you use someone else's text, only exchanging a few words for synonyms or if you present a direct translation from one text to another without letting the reader know it is a quotation. Why is it so important then to avoid plagiarism? Well, here are some few good reasons. It is about academic honesty and integrity. The creator of a work has the right to be given credit for it. It is about showing your ability to use information in a critical and scientifically sound way to let others know that you master the essentials of academic writing. When a person is caught plagiarizing intentionally with explicit aim to mislead others, this person may be given a warning or even be suspended from university studies for a certain period of time. The Swedish Agricultural University, SLU, has adopted a policy against plagiarism. SLU policy and action plan with regard to cheating and plagiarism within higher education. To make it possible to enforce this policy, SLU is employing a so-called plagiarism detection tool, Urkund. All SLU theses are subjected to the scrutiny of Urkund, which means the students' texts are compared to a large number of internet sources, publications from well-known publishing houses and previously published student material. Fabricated facts or manipulated research results are examples of other types of cheating that are not allowed. Most important of all, how do you avoid plagiarism? Make it a rule always to provide references to other authors' material and to do it in a correct way. The reader must always know whether you are leaning on results or ideas from others or whether you are making your own analysis or drawing your own conclusions. If you are summarizing an article you have read, rephrasing it in your own words, you need to include a reference to the article in question. If you want to use the exact wording in the article, that is making a quotation, you need to mark the quotation and include a correct reference. And if you should want to quote yourself in an earlier text, again, you need to mark the quotation and remember to include a reference. A word to the wise. Start compiling correct references as soon as you start writing. Indicate clearly what material you have found elsewhere and where you found it. It is often difficult and time-consuming to go back and look for a lost reference and if you cannot retrieve the necessary information, 
you cannot use the reference. We will tell you more about referencing and quoting in another video. Good luck!